Okay, guys, so this is example one from 11.4, okay? Use the following matrices to evaluate the given expression. Now, as you can see, I'm doing a lot in each example. In your book, they may separate these things out. They may just do two times matrix A, or they just do A matrix A plus, uh, plus matrix B. No, uh, but if I teach you everything at once, um, then you can go back and do the easier version of it, okay? So letter A says, I want to have two, which is your constant or scalar times matrix A, then four times matrix B, and then add it all together. So the first thing we want to start is two times A, and then over here, that means two times A, and then I need space, so I'm going to write these out a little bit further apart. So what does 2 times A mean? Well, 2 times the entire matrix. That means the entire, every single entry in the matrix is twice as big. Okay. So 2 times 0 is still 0. 2 times 3 is now 6. 2 times negative 5 is now negative 10. 2 times 1 is now 2. 2 times 2 is now 4. And 2 times 6 is 12. So that's what you do when you multiply a matrix by a scalar. Now, 4 times B is very much the same. 4 times 4 is 16. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 times negative 3 is 12. 4 times negative 2, again, is negative 8. Then we are going to add these two together. When I add these two together, I'm going to have a two rows by three columns, okay? All you're doing when you're adding is you're adding the same location. So 0 plus 16 is 16. Then we're going to take 6 plus 4 is now 10. Then we're going to take negative 10 plus 0 is negative 10. Then we're going to take 2 plus negative 8 is negative 6. We're going to use 4 plus 12. Ooh, that's fat. Okay, let's make it skinnier. Okay. 4 plus 12 is now 16. And the last entry is, let's use, oh, let's use gray. There you go. Oh, what happened? Okay. Uh, the last one is going to be 12 plus negative 8 is now positive 4. So that's the final answer. Let's box it up. And that's how you multiply a scalar, and that's how you add two matrices. And again, remember, you can only add two matrices if they have the same number of rows and same number of columns. Okay? B. B says I need to multiply the two matrices. Okay? And once I'm done multiplying, I take the answer and I add five times this identity matrix. Remember, the identity matrix I subscript 3, that's the size of so 3 by 3. And remember, matrix I... That means there's just ones in the diagonals. Okay, so let's start. Um, I'm going to need a lot of space, so I'm going to box that up so I can organize myself. Okay, first let's do C times A. So C times A is matrix C, which is this guy over here. I'm just going to copy that down. Four, one, six, two, negative two, and three. Times matrix A, which is this guy over here on the left. 0, 3, negative 5, 1, 2, and 6. Okay, that's what it means. Then add 5 times identity matrix of a 3 by 3. Well, 5 is a scalar. Identity matrix, let me give you what it means. Identity matrix of subscript 3 is a 3 by 3 with the ones in the diagonals and 0 everywhere else. That's the identity matrix subscript 3. A 3 in the bottom denotes a size, a 3 by 3. Okay, so if you multiply 5 by the identity matrix, okay, that's what this is right here. Oh, actually, can I just write 5 in the diagonals now, just to save myself some space? Okay, so 5 here, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 5. So that's what happens when you multiply 5 to the identity matrix. Next. The, the, what's going to take a lot of work would be the C times A, okay? All right, here we go. And I'm going to write everything out very slowly. I would need a ginormous matrix for doing the work of C times A. 
Okay. And so when you multiply matrices, you're going to take row number one, and then you're going to multiply column number one of the second matrix. Okay. So what do I mean by that? So row one, column one. So we're going to take four times zero plus one times two. That's what I mean to multiply row one, column one. Then same thing, I'm going to take row one, different color, row one, column two. So I'm going to take four, ready, column two is now three, okay, plus one times negative five. I'm sorry, one times, that's row, column three, one times two, okay. So you got, this is column number two. And again, I'm still multiplying to row one. And the next one is row one times column three. So we're gonna take four times, so now this is row one, column three, times negative five plus one times six, okay. We will work out the basic math later, but I want to write everything out so you are very clear. Next, we are going to try to multiply row two, column one. So row two, column one. Row two is this guy right here, and column one is this. So we're gonna do six times zero, plus two times one. Then we're gonna do row two, column two, which is this right here, and that, okay, so six, times three plus two times two. Then we are going to do row two, column three. Again, back to row two. This is my last column. So six times negative five plus two times six. Okay. So that, we have to do this every time you multiply, multiply two matrices. So we're gonna do one entry at a time. Then we are gonna go back to row three, column one, row three is, let me erase a bunch of this stuff because I cover everything up. Okay, row three is now this guy, negative two times three and column one, oops, what do I say, Dealey? Negative two, I'm sorry, times zero plus three times one, okay? Then we are going to be working with row three, column two, so again, row three is this one, column two is back to this one. So negative two times three plus three times positive two. And the last one, we are going to take again, row three and column three. So we're gonna do negative two times negative five plus three times six, okay? So that's what we do every time we multiply two matrices. Now let's work out the basic math. Are you ready? Okay, so this right here, all of that should be a, okay, let me tell you what size you're gonna have, okay? When you multiply a three, let's talk about the C matrix. Uh, let's pick a color. Mm, what have I not used? Do I use, um, how about green? Okay. So matrix C is, if you look at this right here, three rows, okay, matrix C has three rows by two columns, okay? Now matrix A has two rows by three columns, okay? This is your trick. If these two inner values are the same, that means you are able to multiply, again, you write down the sides, okay? If the two inner values are the same, then you can multiply. Now the two outer values, let's pick a highlighter that you can see. The two outer values, like here, that will tell you the sides that your final answer is gonna be on. So because it's a three and a three on the outside, that means your remaining answer will be a three by three matrix. Oops, okay? So that's a little secret right there. All right, let's work out the basic math. Four times zero plus one times, uh, four times zero plus one times two. Oh, by one times two, oops. 
sorry, this is supposed to be a one times one, okay? Oh, that should be, that's confusing to you guys. Okay, sorry, because this is a one times one. So this is row one, column one. So four times zero, one times one. Oh, almost missed that one. So four times zero is zero, one times one is one. So that's gonna be one. Then four times three, which is 12, 12 plus two is gonna be 14. So that is 14. Four times negative five is negative 20 plus six is now going to be a negative 14. So that's my first row. All right, next is going to be 0 plus 2, so that's 2. 6 times 3 is 18, plus 4, that's going to be 22. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. Negative 30 plus 2 times 6, that's 12, so that's going to be a negative 18. Next is negative 2 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 3 times 1 is 3. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Then negative 2 times negative 5 is 10. 10 plus 18 is now 28. So that's the product of C times A. Remember, we also have to add 5i. But 5i, we already found the answer. It was 5, 0, 0, 0, 5, 0, 0, 0, 5. My final answer is, because these two are the same identical in size, I can just add them straight up. Final answer of this entire problem is, 1 plus 5 is 6, 14, negative 14 because of those two zeros. Then 2 times, 2 times, 2 plus 0 is 2, 22 plus 5 is now 27, and negative 18. 3 plus 0 is 3, 0 plus 0 is 0, 28 plus 5 is now 33. So class... Your final answer for example B is that. And this is the end of example number 